How's it going? Russell with Nerd Rods here. Real quick, wanted to talk about the time-lapse video you're about to watch, uh, but give it a bit of a preface. It unfortunately didn't get to be a time-lapse MIG welding from beginning to end like we had hoped for. Um, the project originally started as the frame behind me right now, uh, the one you'll watch me weld here in a few minutes, started out as my father's truck project for his upcoming uh, 70th birthday. Um, I wanted to make sure wanted to get him to TIG weld it together. Unfortunately, he didn't follow the photo instructions and he went out of order. So there were a couple little things I had to fix. So that's where the idea of doing the video of MIG welding one together. So you guys who've asked questions about, can you MIG the frame? Just because I like to TIG weld all of mine and I TIG weld everything for our customers, doesn't mean you have to TIG weld your frame. You can MIG weld it. So I start about in the middle of it because some of it had been TIG welded before. The setup is the same. You just do a little bit more prep work on it to make it work out for you. you if you've got the smaller machine, you'll definitely need to do a little more V-grooving and grinding to make sure, and you'll want to do some test parts beforehand. For any of you guys wanting to do test parts before, everything is either 11 gauge or quarter wall. Some of the bigger heavy plates are the quarter wall stuff. The thinner plates are all 11 gauge. So set it up with your, uh, with your MIG welder and do some welds. Cut them in half and see how much penetration you've got. If you want to know how big your machine is and if your machine will weld or be able to, to weld the frame together adequately, that's what you need to do. So one of the things you guys are going to see me doing kind of in the video is uh, spraying this can of stuff onto the frame before I weld anything. This is called anti-splatter. A lot of people don't know about it, uh, which is a shame if you're going to be MIG welding. When you MIG weld something and you get the little tiny bumpies all across a part, across a section around the, uh, where the weld happened, that's because that excess metal is splattering off and sticking to your metal. Especially if you're doing proper metal prep, you're going to get a lot of those guys. Take this stuff, you spray it on there, and what happens is the weld will be hot enough to burn it away, but the little BBs will not, and they will cool just a little bit before they touch the metal. So instead of fusing themselves to the metal and you having tons of little BBs you need to knock off, all you end up with is little BBs that you brush off. So if you're going to be MIG welding your stuff, go down to your local auto parts, welding supply, and ask them for a can of anti-splatter. It'll make your frame project a whole lot nicer looking by the time you're done. So moving on, so we've got the frame here behind us. Dad's D3, Dad's Down and Dirty Project. It's evolved a little bit. Um, it was going to be a 5.3 automatic, whatever we could get our hands on. Then I realized I had a Dana 44 Corvette differential that already had 410 gears I wasn't using. I had a T56 transmission that wasn't going to survive the abuse that I had originally planned for it. Um, I had a lot of stuff laying around that is just one of those, here dad, take this, here dad, take this, here dad, take this. So the projects moved up quite a bit. Um, the final straw was I found a LSA supercharger for it and turns out those things are pretty cheap right now. Uh, I was going to put that on there, supercharger on a 5.3, give him some extra ponies. Uh, since he already had the differential and uh, transmission to handle it. But then one of my customers who was doing a big single turbo project, and I, I prefer turbos over su uh, superchargers, hits me up and says, man, that thing's nice. I'd really like to put one of those on my car instead of that turbo. It would make my build easier. And uh, so I posed the question, you want to trade? So dad's down and dirty project, which started out with a 5.3 and an automatic and a Dana 36 differential with 308 gears, is now a six liter with a turbo cam, a six speed manual transmission, stage three spec clutch, 410 gear differential Dana 44, uh, some big monster tires and a giant single STS turbo. So happy birthday, dad. Uh, enjoy the uh, time lapse video and if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or send us a little email or give us a call.
All right, guys, that's it for the MIG welding video. So thanks again for watching. If you have any other questions, hit us up on your favorite social media site uh, or drop us a line here in the comments on YouTube uh, or drop us an email. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.